Aerospace companies are searching for a technology that will reduce the environmental impact of air travel, and South Africa may soon be at the cutting edge of this research. A new partnership between Airbus, the South African National Aerospace Centre, Hydrogen South Africa, and the University of the Western Cape aims to replace current auxiliary power units that are fossil fuel powered with a more environmentally friendly alternative. The, the, the wider picture is, is um, a number of challenges, uh, uh, challenges of sustainable energy, challenges of environmental compliance. Um, we, need, we need to ensure that um, the impact of aviation goes down as the, grow, as the sector itself grows. So we need to find solutions that will enable us to reduce carbon dioxide emissions, nitrous oxide emissions, noise emissions, um, and part of the challenge is to do that while the aircraft is, is, is flying at altitude, and part of the challenge is to do it in the airport environment. One of the primary sources of noise when the aircraft is on the ground is, is the APU, which is used to generate electricity while the aircraft is stationary and the main engines aren't on. Um, that APU runs off kerosene, it, it generates um, emissions, it generates noise. So in order to meet some of these challenges, fuel cells are a natural and clear a potential solution to enable us to um, avoid those emissions and to eliminate that source of noise. It is revolutionary. I mean, it's, we come from a traditional environment where we use, as Dale alluded to earlier on, we use a, another jet engine to generate the power from the internal cabin. Now if we can use something that is greener and more efficient, it's, it's something we have to look at. I mean, as has as been alluded to, you're creating water, you're not creating noxious gases, etc. And air, jet engines, by their very nature, are quite pretty. So it's a wonderful technology. This is the, um, the, the, uh, the system we're putting together here at the university. About 80% of components originating from South Africa, from the platform to the uh, electrodes. And um, we put that fuel cell stack uh, last year, uh, and that stack uh, goes into a system called combined enon power. Okay? It's about one kilowatt. We can actually reach two levels to 1.5 kilowatts, which is more than enough to really power your house on your own and also get your, your room, okay? Especially for if you look at European uh, context. So, uh, the, the next step here is to put the system together, the, it's called the combined of power, we have that already, and that, that system will be um, up and running sometime next year. So what we've got to do is make sure that we don't lose technology, and that we actually take the new wave of technology out there. So when we have Airbus interested in us looking at hydrogen fuel cells in the aircraft, it means we have relevance to what we're doing. So that's our job, is to actually support Bruno and Heise to actually get to do that for Airbus. And if there's a spin-off locally for our industry, for us to actually start manufacturing these things locally, as, as Bruno alluded to, then our job is done. Because we want to grow our industry. We don't want to do science or research for research's sake. Well, each, each of the partners um, bring their own skills and competences and each have their own role and mission in life. And ultimately, Airbus is a, is a manufacturer of, a, of, a, of large commercial aircraft. But in our research program, it's extremely important that we work with outside organizations that can bring innovation, can bring technologies, and bring new ideas. Um, Airbus ultimately is, a, is an integrator of, of, of a large aircraft. Um, something like 80% of our entire turnover is through the supply chain. So most of the materials, the systems, the equipment that end up on an Airbus aircraft actually come from suppliers. And those suppliers are distributed around the world. And they, bring, they bring that technology in, in, into, our, into our products. So we need to work with outside organizations who are going to develop those solutions, whether it's materials, whether it's power plants, whether it's batteries, whatever it is. So we're, what we're looking for um, in our relationship with, with HISA in particular um, is to tap into a complementary uh, capability, a set of people with new ideas, new takes, new perspectives, and different approaches from the people that we're already working with. And we're hoping that that will stimulate um, our activities around fuel cells and potentially bring some alternative solutions uh, to bear.